It's Brian Preston, the money guy. I'm going to let you kind of set this one up because this one actually came to us from some fellow content creators that did mm-hmm. such a good job. We we're like, we got to give these well, guys a just, shout out. Let's use their idea. All right. So I want to give you an example. Let's suppose that you were this little stick figure standing right here and you want to go buy some headphones and those headphones you want to buy cost $15. Well, you know that there's another store that is 10 minutes away. So it's a 10 minute walk that sells those exact same headphones for ten dollars. Wow, that's so a pretty good either, discount. You can either stay where you are and pay fifteen, or you could walk a measly ten minutes and pay ten. You would save five dollars. Wow, that's a pretty good deal. So I'd I'd probably walk that. I 10 would minutes. walk that, right? If I could pay fifty, pay ten, I would walk that. All right. So let's assume now instead of buying headphones, you are going to buy a laptop. And as you stand where you are right now, the laptop costs six hundred and seventy-five dollars. Or you could walk 10 minutes down the road to the other store and the laptop costs $670. Man, this is like one of those when they show you a dress and you're trying to guess the color. Mm-hmm. This, the, you just change the, the way this entire illustration looks to me. Even though it's the exact same $5, it did something completely different in my brain. That's exactly right. And so, uh, again, this is thanks to our friends over at Two Cents. This is what they said. There's a 33% discount on the headphones and only a 0.7% discount on the laptop. Well, because we perceive the 33% discount to be so much greater, we are more likely to take that 10 minute walk than we would on the laptop when in reality, $5 savings is $5 savings no matter which product you're buying. I think, I mean, when I saw this, and by the way, if you guys haven't gone and checked it out, Go check out Two Cents. Oh, I mean, yeah, look, we great. get nothing for sharing that. It's just that I want to give an a compliment where mm-hmm. we see good work being created. This this was a great illustration. They got some really good creatives that are obviously working on it. But it is one of those things, when I saw this, I was like, man, I think that even I, who consider myself a good contrarian, a good person that can spot, I have good emotional intelligence, I fall prey to this sometimes. Yep. And this is I'm going to, I'm even going to flip the script to a financial concept where I see this happen and even more is this same you cuz this is talking about the power of the discount. Seeing that you could save 33% mm-hmm. is just so powerful to you versus when it's only a 0.7% discount. I think that this also can play out to when you're buying stuff as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Yep. So when you think about this in terms of New car purchases. Mm -hmm. You're like, okay, I could buy the basic, you know, if you're buying a brand new car, you're like, yeah, I could get into that car for $18,000. But you know what? I can get the one that has leather for Mm -hmm. $21,000. Even though three grand is a ton of money, you'll think about, man, but I could, you know, over 10, you know, five years, seven years, I, you know, I ought to do that because not only do I get the leather, I get the moon roof. Right? Exactly you know, right. so you start because as a percentage of the total purchase, it doesn't feel as big. It's the same thing when you buy a house. Bo, you just built a house. Absolutely. Now, my builder, he told me I can do absolutely anything, but it's going to cost you. Anything is possible. And I have figured out what that cost is. It's two. It's it's between a thousand to two thousand dollars for every ask. Uh, that's 100% true. And what's amazing is when you're building a house, you're thinking, man, all right, this is the total. Okay, well, I'll just, okay, it's a thousand bucks. Oh, well, it's a mortgage. It's 30. Okay, here's 2,000 bucks. Okay, here's a thousand bucks. When in reality, if I was walking through the grocery store and I saw something that was a thousand dollars and two thousand, no way am I just going to start willy nilly grabbing them like we do when we build a house. But in relationship to the total purchase price, a thousand dollars doesn't feel like much. The yep. problem is, is that there's seventy five things that you need to spend a thousand dollars on, and that's where it adds up. So I'm just telling you that transaction utility is a legitimate thing that you yep. need to be very aware of. It's because yes, it makes you feel better. The bigger percentage, the better deal you're getting. But it also minimizes the flip side of this. The converse side of this is the bigger the transaction, the more you're willing to move things up because it's playing psychological or behavioral economics games with what's going on in your brain. That's exactly right. And this is kind of the financial concept you should take away is that every single dollar is powerful. We've already said earlier in the show, uh, money is fungible. A dollar here is worth a dollar there. Don't let the perception of value 
fool you. Make sure you understand what you're spending, why you're spending, and are you getting a value out of the dollars that you are spending. So, but we just went through nine behavioral economics concepts that can manipulate you, persuade you, move you to do things. And here's what you would think that it's so simple that you just need to go memorize these nine. And by the way, there's even more. Sure. But that's not the case. A lot of times, guys, I want to go ahead and tell you, these things get stacked on top of each other. So you might have somebody who not only offers you a free dinner, but then they might try to manipul- manipulate mm-hmm. you with other ways too. So these things could be stacked to persuade you, yep. even make this even more powerful. But don't let this stuff educate yourself, equip yourself so that you know what your why is, what your financial order of operation. What You need to have all these tools so that you will be equipped to make sure you're doing the best possible way of getting yourself to financial independence and building wealth. And our charge is we're going to be that resource for you to help you keep your ship true. If you've not gone out to our website, go to moneyguide.com. Make sure we have your email address. We have deliverables out on the website that you can take, you can use, you can send them to friends, you can share them with colleagues, you can share, share them with family members. We want you to have access to them so that you can take your finances to the next level, and we're going to be the resource that stays here to help you be aware of these things that you need to be aware of. So we've talked about the abundance cycle. We work with clients in 42 states. If you feel like your you know, finances have gotten to the level that you do need a co-pilot, you've graduated, you know, we're Johnny Appleseed planting the seeds, mm-hmm. you learn, apply, and grow. Now you're at the level of success that you do want to take it to the next level. Reach out to us. You can go to Abound Wealth. You can go to Money Guy. And don't forget, we're so close, so close. We're going to reach 100,000 by year end. That's the goal, but I can't do it without you. So please go sign up on YouTube, subscribe, ring the bell for good service, and let us know you're part of the Money Guy family. Guys, we'll be back soon. I'm your host, Brian Preston, Mr. Bo Hansen, Money Guy team, out.